Hello everyone, this is Manoj. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll walk through you how we can deploy or how we can host a React.js application on any server. For this particular video, I'm using my GoDaddy account. As you can see, in this GoDaddy account, I'm using one ultimate Windows hosting plan and this is a Windows hosting server. And we have a domain, youtubeassistance.com. So I'll deploy the React.js application on this particular domain. So far, I have deployed one .NET application. As you can see, the content. And this is our React.js application. This is a simple CRUD operation. From here, you can add any employee. From here, you can update any employee. And from here, you can delete. So this is a simple CRUD operation. And let's go to VS Code. First, we need to create a build folder through a command so that we can deploy the content inside the build folder to the server. So let's stop the terminal and command npm run build. So it will create a build folder over here and whatever content we will get inside that build folder will deploy the same on a server. So it will take some time. As you can see, the folder has been created and the message is creating an optimized production build. So it is creating all the related files and folders, whatever we require to deploy on a server. So this wait for a while. So as you can see, it has created our build folder and if I expand this, so we have this much content over here. So let's open this, we will in file explorer. Let's go to this build folder. So this is the overall content within this build folder. Now let's open FileZilla. So I use this FileZilla software to upload or deploy files on my server. So you can directly use your GoDaddy account or if you want, you can use any other tool for deployment. But I personally use this tool. So you can see this is my deployed domains and this is our domain which we will use for our deployment. So double click on it. So we'll go inside this folder and this is our .NET content. So let me create one directory and let's put everything inside this folder and let's copy this folder path and let's paste this over here. Select all, right click and upload. So it will take some time if you see queued files 15 so it will deploy each and everything onto this particular domain eight files are remaining seven six one file is remaining done now go to browser and this domain and try to control f5 you can see on this particular domain we have a same application as our local host so let's try to perform some operation let me give my name hello slash one nine submit nice let's create one more use it to help one submit perfect let's add it this use it to help uh, Eight, use it to help. Then, yeah. update. Nice. Let's try to delete. Delete. Perfect. So let's go back to our VS Code. So we simply need to give this command npm run build. It will create our build folder. As you can see inside this folder, this is our application source public node modules so here you will get a build folder and you need to deploy 
whatever files you will get inside this build copy all and paste it on your server and that's how you can simply deploy or host your react.js application on any server for this i'm using windows as i already mentioned you can use your any other kind of hosting server so this is about today's video i hope you like it if you did so hit the like button share comment and i have an announcement so if you are looking for any paid service of your project like you are doing any internship or you are creating any project for your final year college project so i do these kind of paid services so you can contact me on my instagram my instagram handle is open programmer and you can also find my all contact details on my channel description so i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching take care bye bye